live from fabulous New Vegas, Nevada, it's the Combat Zone. Sentry Bot versus everybody. That's right, Wastelanders, it's fight night here at WGNR. We've got five groups of challengers ready for battle here to take on the King of the Ring, a Sentry Bot named Chuckles. This is private property. Move along. Much to the delight of our spectators here, the Sentry Bot is going to take on all challengers either until it itself is destroyed or everyone else lies in the dust. There's random scatter terrain and junk all throughout the combat zone here in the center. There's also a radiation barrel, so that's something to watch out for. And at the very back here is the jackpot, also surrounded by some radiation barrels. Performing a search action on the objective here will yield a draw of one crazy wild banana buku weapon out of the wasteland deck. We've got five rounds of challengers to try to dethrone the sentry bot here in the combat zone for the first time ever here on the channel. So let's get into the action. First up, the Psycho Squad. Our first round of challengers are three Raider Psychos. All three are equipped with pipe wrenches and they also have two fragmentation grenades that they can share amongst themselves. The sentry bot's gonna be the one to go first because, well, there's more of me than there is of him. So at the moment, he's going to move once, getting the reckless attack action to open up a path, unfortunately, for his missile launcher. Sentry Bot targeting the centermost Psycho is actually going to be able to hit all three Psychos with the missile launcher. Here, if it hits in the center, hitting on an eight. That is a hit for two, two area damage and three direct damage to uh, the center Psycho. A few good armor rolls keep the Psychos in the game. One's at half health and the other two have just taken one damage. Two of the Psychos run down the field and try to close the distance with the Sentry Bot, while the third one makes a play for the Jackpot Stash to see if they can't get some extra firepower. Sentry Bot actually got the melee charge uh, random AI action, so that's kind of fun, uh, and that's exactly what they're gonna do, just steamroll full speed ahead into this most damaged Psycho here. A charged improvised weapon attack by the Sentry Bot deals a whopping three damage to the Psycho, but we get lucky on the armor rolls and only get one damage put through. Well, the sentry bot charging into me has taken away my ability to charge him, meaning uh, oh, I don't have anything else to do but to just swing away. Psycho with the pipe wrench hitting on sevens. That is a hit for two armor breaks, uh, so that's going to be uh, one plus one strong armor. He's going to deal one point of damage. One down, many to go on Mr. Bot. We do need to see if we take any radiation damage as well because we started our activation within yellow range of the barrel here. So whatever we roll on the black die is what we take in rad damage. That is a cock die, try it again. Uh, nothing. And seeing as this might be the only chance I actually have to do this, uh, this game, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run for the barrels here uh, and for the weapon stash, but I need to roll for radiation first. Okay, no, doing good on those so far this game. So I'm gonna make the move once so we've got a wasteland deck here full of all kinds of wild and wacky big guns. Uh, regardless of whether or not units have the big gun skill in this scenario, I'm going to let them use these weapons off their strength. So uh, we've all shuffled up here. Let's draw from the deck here randomly. And we got a grenade launcher. Oh, one of my favorite guns in the entire game. Uh, technically not a big gun. It is a rifle, but we'll let the uh, psycho use that as well. Deals area effect damage. Grenade launcher go boom. Let's do this thing. And my only other unit to go here uh, is this Psycho, so they're gonna go ahead and make a charge into the Sentry Bot, take a black bonus die for the charge there and make an outnumbered attack with their pipe wrench. Psycho outnumbered charged attack, hitting on a seven. That is a critical hit for, wow, four damage. Four damage on three plus one strong armor. Stops two, takes two. A surprisingly effective second round from the Psychos has the Sentry Bot down to just 10 of its 13 hit points. That's pretty impressive in its own right. If the Psychos manage to keep this up, this could be over a lot sooner than I expected. Deciding he's had enough of this up close and personal business, Chuckles rolls to disengage from the Psychos, takes a reckless shot with his missile launcher right in between both of them. That's not before two opportunity attacks come through from the Psychos, but sadly both go wide. The missile launcher absolutely vaporizes one of the psychos and leaves the other one on death's door. Okay, I gotta keep the pressure on, so uh, I'm going to go with uh, Mr. Grenade Launcher here. First, gotta roll for the radiation barrels here. Ooh, not great. Going to convert this into one point of radiation damage. Uh, then just gonna go moving on down the road to get within close range, yes, of the sentry bot. Take a shot with the grenade launcher. 
Grenade launcher hitting on fives. That's gonna do it for one armor break, so that's gonna be uh, two damage on, sorry, three damage on two uh, plus one or strong. He takes two damage. Five damage down on the sentry bot. Well, five of its 13, so yeah, long way to go on that one. But uh, now it's actually going to be uh, Mr. Psycho here, and I'm actually going to go ahead and lob one of my grenades uh, here to try to, again, try to just keep cracking through that armor. Psycho with a frag grenade, danger close, hitting on sevens. Uh-oh, that misses, that could scatter. Am I gonna blow myself up? Well, wouldn't you know it. Uh, scattering just a little bit to the right orange uh, means I'm now going to blow myself up and be just well outside of sentry bot range. Yay, so let's see. Uh, I just did three damage to myself. Mistakes. Do and we're toast. Uh, well then, um, that's a little bit more what I expected to be going on this round. Oh, that's going to bring it back to the sentry bot. So he's just going to pivot slightly to the left uh, and start to unload both of his big guns. The missile launcher finds its target, dealing three damage to the lone psycho, absolutely liquefying him and taking him out of the game. And that's going to be it for the first contenders. The psychos are down. Big Bad Brutus is a super mutant brute armed with a super sledge, a bladed helmet, which will give him an extra yellow die when making a charge. Well, without any long range weapons, I gotta try to get in close and personal with uh, old Chuckles here. So I'm just gonna move, get some cover here, hopefully see if I can weather storm from some, uh, some missile launching attacks here. Chuckles opens things up with his missile launcher, dealing three damage to the brute, blowing right past his armor. Not a good start. He follows up with his mini gun and hits all five times with the walked fire weapon. It's dealing now another two damage. So now uh, more than half of the hit points now down on Brutus here. With few options available, Brutus decides to make a run for the sentry bot and charges into the middle of the field. And because he's a mutant, he doesn't have to worry about that pesky radiation barrel. Chuckles moves once, here, but because he's danger close, we instead going to use the minigun to try to finish off Brutus at close range. Chuckles with the minigun up close and personal, hitting on eights. That's a hit for three damage. Oh, Brutus, you came close, but no dice. Another challenger down. Who's next? Next up, we've got an Institute Courser. These units can be some of the toughest in the game with a built-in stealth boy that lasts the entire game. He's equipped with an Institute Laser Rifle with the Hardened Receiver mod, which will help deal some extra damage, and one Synth Relay Grenade to try to call in some backup. Stealth mode engaged. Time to go. Well, this is probably the best chance we're going to have so far because we are invisible, so let's kick things off. Moving up once, thanks to that stealth boy, you're not gonna worry about cover too much and then with second action it's time to deploy a synth relay grenade so the courser has a thrown item distance of green so uh, on a seven here we're going to uh, spawn a gen one synth up close and personal right in the center of the board hey that's going to do it well there we go a little bit of backup all of a sudden for our courser but that's going to bring it over to chuckles and guess what he's gonna do Chuckles kicking things off with a minigun through cover onto the Gen 1 synth. First attack hitting on sixes. A barrage of bullets tears through the synth's armor even in cover, taking him out of the game just as quick as he arrived. Missile launcher time coming in through on the courser now. Because he is invisible, the uh, Chuckles here isn't going to target the courser himself. He's instead going to target right in front of the courser to then deal with the area of effect, thus negating the stealth boy. It's the best trick if you're gonna to try to take on a stealth boy unit. Let's see how it works out. Chuckles with the missile launcher hitting on sixes. That's a hit for three damage. Three damage on two armor. Ooh, that's a four. That's all gonna go right through. Not a great start for the Courser, Stealth Boy or no Stealth Boy. Takes it on the chin, half of his hit points down right off the bat. Ooh, I thought the Courser was gonna have a way better chance than this. Uh, I'm probably not gonna make it through another round. So I'm just gonna book it for the weapons cache, see if I can't get lucky and do some damage for the next guy down the road. Well, Chuckles isn't having any of that. He's gonna move once to get within clear line of sight and then missile launcher right about there, try to take the courser down. Chuckles with that missile launcher hitting on eights. 
four damage, my goodness. Four damage on two armor. Ooh, it all goes through. The missile sidewinders in and takes our courser down. Another one bites the dust, only two more to go. Let's see if Chuckles can't make it all the way to the end. Grognak the Barbarian. Look at this absolute unit. Grognak is a tank. Tons of hit points, lots of special abilities that help him out in melee, and two big swinging weapons, his axe and his sword. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, Grognak the Barbarian has entered the ring. Let's go. Now, with an impressive movement speed of red, Grognak might be able to, uh, well, he might be able to close the distance faster than anybody else here. Radiation be damned. He can take it. He's Grognak. He can take anything. He's super close already. Let's see if Chuckles can't clap back. Chuckles firing a missile launcher into Grognak's face, hitting all on sixes. Ooh, dolly. That is a hit for Jesus. Five damage and one armor break. Now, Grognak is from the Survivor Faction, and because he's unique, he's going to get a plus one strong armor token to negate one of those damage. So it's going to be four damage on two armor. Stops two, takes two. That could have been a whole hell of a lot worse, but that's not all we're left with now. Uh, we're going to go, Chuckles is going to unload the minigun here, see if he can't do some more damage. Another devastating display by the minigun, dealing four damage to Grognak through cover. Somebody tell me again why these are a bad weapon to take? He's only got one hit point left, but um, he's got eight hit luck points. I'm gonna see if I can reduce the damage by one, spending luck point. If I get lucky, then we get a hit point back, which we do. Look at that, okay, so we've got two hit points left now. Hooray, that is gonna bring it back to our side. Now, unfortunately, oh yeah, he's outside of green charge range, so Grognak is going to have to move once and then charge to get into close combat with the sentry bot, and he's got two hit points left. That is, unfortunately, his whole dang turn, which means Chuckles is going to have to return. Chuckles is gonna start things off with an improvised weapon here attack. Not very good, just hitting on twos. Oh my god, that hits for three, three damage on two armor. He would take it all, except he does uh, have Master of Melee, so he gets plus one strong armor. So he ignores one of those, uh, and then I'm going to roll luck to try to ignore one more, which I do. So I only take one. Well then, Grognak has one hit point left, uh, and we still have one more action with uh, big old Chuckles here. So I think, uh, yeah, he's gonna spend that to uh, minigun him in the face. Chuckles with the minigun, shot number one is a hit for two damage, two damage on three armor. Stops one, takes one, and he's dead. Oh, Grognak, we barely knew ye. You got right up close and personal, but unfortunately, melee versus minigun, not going to do it. We only have one contender left. Chuckles is truly unstoppable, unless he can defeat Yogi Yaogwai. This big bad bear is hungry for some metal. He's only got one attack, but he's built like a brick shithouse, so this is gonna be fun. That's right, sports fans. We've saved the biggest and the baddest here for last. We've got Yogi Yaogwai ready to do his thing, and it is his turn, so here we go. The Yaogwai cares not for your sentry bot. He's going to charge in with reckless abandon. Only moves yellow, but big base size. Gets him right about to middle of the pack. Now he's immune to radiation, so he's not gonna have to worry about any of that action there in the middle, but Chuckles has got to go. Sentry bot missile launcher right down the middle, hitting on sixes. That is a crit fail. So because of the critical fail, it's actually going to scatter red uh, from the Yao Guai. It's not going to hit, uh, well, the sentry bot, but let's just see where it goes for semantic effect. Mistakes Huge, way wide, have. completely back here. Well, there we go. Finally getting a little bit of dice rolls in our favor. It's going to bring it back to Yogi here, who's going to take a run once. And please tell me we're within green range. Oh yeah, it's charging time. Chuckles claps back with an improvised weapon attack in melee and somehow manages to hit again and deal damage to the Yao Guai. Now we're talking Yao Guai swipe. We got a yellow, green, and blue for the attack, a black for being super strong, and a green for the charge because I really want this to hit. Only hitting on fives. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta be friggin' kidding me. It's a whiff on the first. Something's gonna lose the charge bonus. We do get another attack, hitting on fives. Well, that's more like it. We only deal two damage, but with the special effect here, uh, the Algoi swipe, we're going to deal both a stun and an arm break. Well, no damage on those attacks, but we did stun and give a minus two to his melee attacks. Not bad, because it is coming back to his side now. After three rounds of a knockdown drag him out slap fight, Chuckles is left with just one hit point remaining while the Yao Guai is almost at full health. No other options, Chuckles makes a desperate play to disengage from the Yao Guai to get off a shot with his missile launcher, but a lucky opportunity attack from Yogi takes Chuckles down to zero hit points and he detonates in a massive explosion, leaving us with a new champion in the combat zone. Thank you all so much for watching this first episode of the WGNR Combat Zone. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our next video. And if you really enjoy what we do here at the channel, then why not consider heading on over to our Patreon page or click the join button here on YouTube to become one of our channel members. Your support means we can make more videos more often for you to enjoy and you get all kinds of kickbacks in the process. Thank you all again so much for watching and stay tuned because WGNR and the Combat Zone will be back.